we come up to city planning, and this is the environment, and I think this is going to be a theme that I want to leave you with and then even talk about through the, in the panel. How do, in real life, how do we address this problem? And I don't think it is feasible to ask an adult, much less a kid, to go ahead and make a correct health care decision. There's a candy bar. There's a piece of celery. What's a 10-year-old kid going to choose, OK? So what you have to do is create an environment where people just trip over healthy behavior. And Dan Buettner is somebody, uh, he was a journalist who then became, he's become a healthcare advocate and uh, is, was way ahead on this. Wrote a book called Blue Zones, which came at it the other way. And so most of us have gone through studies and said, well, what, let's try to look to see uh, what behavior does what? And he looked at it the other way around. He, what behavior leads to long life? He said, let me just go all over the world and find out where people live the longest and see what they have in common. How smart is that? It's so simple. So he found out that people all in different places, Okinawa, Costa Rica, Loma Linda, Icaria, Sardinia, they live long. And then he said, all right, what do they have in common? And they did have some, th some of them were like eat, drinking goat milk, um, living outside, red wine, taking naps, Exercise, so in Icaria they live up in the mountains and just walking just in the course of the normal day. Um, community, so we talked about dementia, preventing dementia. Turns out that community is really important and we know that community is important for preventing dementia. So then he took all of these things, rolled them up into a ball and says, well, let's bring those behaviors to a town. So he took the town of Albert Lee, Minnesota, a small town, and he went, I mean, you imagine doing this for the first time. So, you know, it's, it's amazing the personal persuasion that must have taken to do this. So he goes to the town leaders. He goes, here's what I want you to do. I want you to change everything that you're doing in the town. <laughs> and so he speaks to the mayor. He speaks to, the, he speaks to the, uh, uh, the schools. He talks to the restaurant. The restaurant people. He says, stop serving so much junk. Or if you're going to serve the junk, have some healthy choices. He says to the mayor, put in some walking paths. Put in some bike paths. Um, let's do something called um, the walking school bus which is such a cool idea, right? So if you don't live 20 miles from school, basically if you live within walking range, it starts off with somebody, the first person coming, walking over to your house and picking you up, and you come out and then the two of you walk and you go to the next person, and you, know, you get a bus. And it's kind of fun for kids, and they're walking. Um, and uh, within a year, health health healthcare costs drop 40%, Blue Cross Blue Shield. Uh, health care, longe health longevity was estimated to be increased about three years. And uh, this was a big success. And people said, well, you can't do it elsewhere. So he took it to the, to the Manhattan Beach, to, to Redondo, Hermosa, or Manhattan, the, the California beaches here. He did that there. 30% drop in smoking, you know, 10 or 15% drop in obesity after a few years. Then he's taking it to Iowa. 15 cities in Iowa are now doing this. To me, this is, this is one of the huge, great ideas. Um, if you can get the whole community to change where you are and what behavior people are tripping over, that just makes sense.